everyone and welcome to week seven of the Beavers County session. It's just me today doing this video. So for this video, we are going to be making some active wear. So today in our session, we looked all about stretching and moving and movement. So we're going to make some headbands so that we can do some movement, but look really cool at the same time. So for this video, for this activity, you are going to need a tape measure, a piece of paper that shows it, a piece of paper, some sellotape or glue, some colouring pencils, and probably some scissors as well. So make sure you've got all of that and then we can get going. So first of all, what you're going to need to do is use your tape measure or your piece of string and measure around your head so you find out how big your head is. My head is 54 centimetres so I'm going to cut out some strips of paper that are 54 centimetres long. So you might have to cut, cut out a couple of strips of paper. If I'm using yellow paper here's one of my strips. I've got two strips to go around my head because I, I need two strips. So once you have cut out your two strips of paper to your proper length, so however however big the circumference of your head is, you are going to need to decorate your paper using the coloured pens that we've got. I've got one that I made earlier here. I've decorated my piece of paper using uh, in using little flower pictures. I did two different colours so that it's more interesting to look at. So once you have drawn your flowers on your piece of paper or whatever design you choose to do, you're going to need to stick that piece of paper together. So I've used sellotape and I've stuck my two sides together and then I've stuck them together again so that they make a circle so I can wear my headband. I think it looks very fetching. Obviously I've just whizzed through all of those instructions so if you need to take some time and pause in between each one of those instructions. So first off, measure your head and cut out your strips of paper. Second, decorate your paper. And third, stick them all together so you've got a lovely headband. And if you want to go further, you can make yourself some wristbands. So you could do the exact same thing, but this time just measure out your piece of paper to the size of your wrist, not the size of your head. Um, once you've finished, we would love to see these uh, headbands or wristbands, whatever you've decided to make, on our Facebook page, which is just weekly online sessions on Facebook, so we can see what you've managed to come up with, because I'm sure you've come up with some really exciting designs. And that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this week's session. Can't wait to see you all next week, where we'll be looking a bit more at the Book Reader's Badge, which we did last week. So come prepared with a couple of your favourite books in mind. And remember at the moment, the Beavers are having a competition in Birmingham. The Beavers have been going for 35 years now. And to celebrate that anniversary, they are doing a competition where you can design your own badge and people can buy it as like a special anniversary badge for this year. So, if you want to get involved, get in contact with your leader and they'll have some templates and things to send through to you. And who knows, people might be wearing your badge very soon. All right, thanks for joining me today. See you next week. Bye.